let's check out this gadget here. It's an HJS1500 personal power pack and jump starter. And it says here, it will start up most vehicles up to a 4.2 litre diesel and a 7 litre petrol engine. You also got um, outlets for um, charging your phones, tablets and cameras and um, powers 12 volt devices up to 180 watts. And it uh, tells us how small it is, 12 months warranty and um, the specs are here. On the back of the box we can see what we can expect inside and we've got the technical specifications here. Let's check out what's inside it. Nice carry case. And inside the carry case, we've got a warranty card, user manual instructions, another user manual instructions booklet, and some more instructions. We'll get back to this later. Let's have a look what else is in the pack. We've got a charging cable. Get to charge the power pack from your uh, cigarette lighter in your vehicle. And we've got... Um, USB connectors to charge your phone or your um, camera, or tablet with different sockets here. There's a wall charging charger. For the battery pack, and here's the unit itself. With two USB ports to charge your electronic devices, portable electronic devices. The charging port for to charge the unit itself. And here we've got a display to tell us it's 100% charged. There's also a torch on the end of it. With different modes of flashing. Let's turn it off. The underside of it. Here we've got a factory seal, and underneath here, behind this door here, rubber flap, we've got a um, plug socket to plug in the cables. Let's do that. This is your jump starter cables, and this plugs into the battery. On here, like that, and we're ready to jump start our car with a flat battery. Now, earlier I've shown this, and it says 
it's the units discharge for transport. When I got mine, it was uh, it's seven five seventy five percent fully charged, and it was able to start a diesel engine of a four point six capacity at seventy five percent charge. So um, that's pretty impressive. But let's have a look at this thing in, in action. One more thing before um, we move on to that, I should point out this unit has a button here that operates the torch. When storing it in the storage container provided, make sure that switch goes into that slot here there's a cutout provided for that switch if you put it in just any old way the torch can come on by itself and drain your unit of power by having the torch on permanently so um, there is a cutout here for that very switch and it stores that way in the very important if you're planning to use it in an emergency sometime well, this car has been sitting around for about at least six months without being started up so i don't know if the battery is still good or not um, to save and not to traumatize the battery i'm going to use this device here now and connect it as a booster for starting and save the battery regardless of it, whether it still works or not so positive to positive black to negative and that's connected like that Let's have a go at starting it. Here we go inside the car. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it's been sitting around for a while. Get that oil there. And there was no problem at all starting this. And now that I'd look at the battery again, um, going by this battery indicator, it's white. So it means it needs to be recharged, recharge battery white, green OK, and red replace the battery, it's wide. So it needed recharging, but this thing started up fine. And I can confirm that this battery was fully discharged. It's been on charge for three hours. And it is just below 12 volts still. So that device worked a treat. By now, I've used this device five times to start the car. So, how much juice does it have left? Ninety nine per cent after five starts, and that is not bad at all. And now let's have a look after 18 starts, how much juice is left in this device. 
96% after 18 starts. That is really, really good. Here is a 24 volt system. So let me answer that question. As you'll notice, these two terminals are just connected together. And at these terminals, we got 24 volts. And at these terminals, we got 24 volts. Remembering, remembering that our device is only 12 volts, it would be risky to connect it to these two or to these two. So what I'm going to do is connect my 12 volt device for jump starting. like this positive to positive and negative to negative but only on one battery and the device is flashing green so let's see how that works Disconnect it. So the answer is yes, you can use this 12 volt jump starter in a vehicle with a 24 volt system. Provided you connect to only one battery and observe the polarity. If for some reason you're not getting the results you were expecting, disconnect the battery booster from that battery and connect it to the other battery. Again, observing polarity. It could be that that other battery is more discharged than the one you connected up first. Thanks for watching and see you in the next or the previous video.